So what are we going to give up for Lent? <laughs> That's a very good question. Yeah, I don't know what to With say. a long answer. <laughs> for Lent instead of giving something up um, we're going to take something on so uh, we're going to go out for what, what, what are we going to do well we're going to try walking if my hips let me yeah have you got right clothing for it uh, well define oh, right oh, clothing oh, oh, I can't see whether that yeah you got the, you got the right flashy leggings flashy leggings I've got I've got mine on as well um, so we're going to take you with us if you want to join us. Um, we'll uh, be doing a few walks through Lent and give you a chance to see a bit of the surrounding countryside as well. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Oh, the microphone's in the shot now. Look at that. It's just there. Sorry. Show it again. See, R2-D2, our little <laughs> friend on the journey. My mama and papa Just about the age of ten Got me a job Working on the river Toting water for the hard working man Walk on boy Walk on boy Walk on down the road And I Seaside.
Um, Santa Paula del Este and that's about the end of the beaches. Uh, these spits are interesting because um, the, um, there's quite a few fishermen out there. So shall we, uh, shall we go for a walk then Dave? Yes. You start. said that without moving your lips. Yes. <laughs> shall we go? Oh. oh there we go then. Right. I can't see my eyes and you can't see my lips. So it's only going to be a short walk this morning, and uh, oh no, I've not set my fitness thingy to work after doing that. Is that Just a word? Th it'll do. Word? It'll do. The I therapeuticness think. of the waves lapping the shore. I think there's a. I think I've got a new age album called Therapeuticness of the Waves. It's done by New World Music, okay. I think. It's really listen. It's really really nice. Oh, let's let's listen. Let's listen. In fact, we can go down, can't we? We can. Don't trip. Yeah, we could fall over. If this was on Classic FM or Scala Radio, it would be called the Mindfulness Moment. Not the therapeutic this morning. I, I think you'll find it's now going to be called the therapeuticness of the shore of the waves laughing. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't sit on your sunbed, here, would you really? I think you'd struggle. That 
looks like it's one of the larger boats sent across the Tabaka, doesn't it? It certainly does. I didn't know they were back on actually. But they were in Santa Pola as we drove past, there was two or three. No. Not the normal ten, but there was two or three. There's also one coming the other way or is that a fishing boat? No, that's a fishing boat. I think I mean Tabaka in in olden days was a was a smuggling place, wasn't it? Where pirates used to use as a stop off between yes. other places in mainland Spain. And of course in the first lockdown it was it was locked down without any boats getting to it whatsoever. And then after about two months when the police got there, they discovered a whole stash of cannabis, didn't yes, they? Yes, they did. <laughs> they, they, clearly somebody brought in to sort of keep the historical roots of the island yes, yes. intact, really. Lots so, of kilos, lots of kilos. Yeah, of quite. So uh, I don't know where it came from. Uh, maybe from the Bale Balearics, as in Mallorca, Minorca, whatever, or maybe it just came round the coast and sneaked up from across the, the Med. But yeah, Tabaka's a beautiful place. I, I I would like to visit there again when I feel safe going on a boat. memories of from is it two years ago now but it's 2019 isn't it it is um, with the several trips that we took across there hopefully that will be soon that we do that again um, that's been a strange all year really hasn't it very much so very much so but peace here is lovely slight breeze it is, it's been a gorgeous walk out actually and the, the challenge with any piece of enjoyment in this period is this sort of inappropriateness when you know how blessed you are or whatever word you want to put onto that but it always sounds a little bit as though you're saying look at me I can do this um, but it's a fine line between celebrating the beauty of God's creation and, and um, not being aware that it isn't the same for the people if you're in the middle of a cold day in the city with um, not being able to move. Really. Oops. Oops. Talking about not being able to move. Sorry. My hips don't let me sit in the same position too long these days. No, they? that's very true. It's uh, as my mother says, uh, it's not to be said for getting old. Really. <laughs> so, uh,
like a proverbial mill pond, isn't mm. it? Um, it's uh, it's nice just to sit here and enjoy the therapeuticness. With the aloe vera plants in front Ooh, of us. Okay. If you really want to do therapeutic and everything to go with it and healing properties. Yeah, you're right. These are, I believe these I are aloe vera. How can something so spiky be so useful? A bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that. I kind of like myself. <laughs> and the ice plant, the pink flowers have just started to come out. Oh, well, there's one there, isn't it? Yes, not anywhere near our ones at home aren't that close yet. No, they're not. But the ones at home came from here. All the ones all the way around our pool were three or four branches from this beach. Yeah. Or this stretch of beach. Can you twirl that stick and play kazoo as well? Can I? Can you twirl that stick? No, it's too heavy. It's not sided. And you play if you could play when the saints go marching in on a kazoo, you could, you could... <laughs> no, that went badly. I don't think I'll do that again. No, I don't think so. It's not sided with the weights, it's too heavy. Okay. Maybe I could manage it with just the foot or something. No. Uh, this could be a new, um, you could be a... A new beach game. A new beach game. You could, you could form the Santa Paula jazz band, because they were always called jazz bands in the North East. Right. I have no idea why. I had a very distinctive sound. <laughs> this was before the minions as well. Oh right. But, but they just they had kazoos, lots of them. Because in the northeast we couldn't afford proper instruments. Okay. So they made they made kazoos out of things they'd found down the mines. That's that's how it worked. Okay. That's, that's how it worked. Okay. I believe you thousands wouldn't. It's a bit like the trumpets that Yorkshiremen's made. Yorkshiremen made from cotton that they got out of the cotton mills. Oh right. Except in Yorkshire, was it not wool mills, darling? No, I don't point. think we had cotton. That's a good point. I think it was wool. It, it shows I know I don't know a great deal about Yorkshire. <laughs> Or Yorkshire women, for that matter. Ah, well. Twenty-one years is not enough time. Twenty-one years is what? Not enough time. To do what? To know about Yorkshire women. Yeah.
I can't walk on sand and pull the selfie stick. I just realised that. That's because you didn't notice that there was a drop. There is one in the moment. There we are. That's most of them gone now. Yeah. The other good thing about a mask is that when you get to the end of a, a walk and you're starting to puff and pant a bit, uh, people can't see behind your mask. <laughs> but they may be able to see the perspiration on the head, possibly. I don't have any. You don't have any head? I don't have any perspiration. All right, just checking. Yeah, women glow, don't they? Yes. Ladies, ladies glow. Horses. No, pigs sweat. Pigs? Alright. Mm. Men perspire and ladies glow. I think I find that non inclusive. Well, because of all the other animals I missed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What about us, say the orangutans? We're not mentioned. And the birds, I wonder if birds sweat. That's a good question. Do birds sweat? Is there an underwing deodorant that birds use? I have absolutely no idea. That's like one of our children's questions a long time ago about the fish blink. Oh, you've got that wrong as well. No, I haven't. Because the reply was they can't, they don't have eyes. But actually, that's what was funny. <laughs> okay. And it was one of our daughter's friends. Fish bling. It's a very good question, the fish bling. Fish blink sounds like an IKEA unit of storage. <laughs> Going to look over the edge. So that's just about the end of our walk, um, our first walk in Lent. Um, thank you for joining us on the walk. Um, I, I was really yeah, we talked about Lent before, about the journey. I was really chuffed with um, what Debbie put on uh, this week after our Compline service. It's a quote from Justin Welby, Welby uh, Archbishop of Canterbury. And uh, I understand what he's saying, really. It feels as if Lent has lasted a year since the last lockdown. We've gone without for so long. The last thing we feel like is abstinence. But Lent isn't about punishing ourselves. It's about drawing closer to Christ and allowing Him to share in our struggles. Lent isn't about punishing ourselves, it's about drawing closer to Christ and allowing Him to share in our struggles. And that's probably the thought that we want to leave you with really. Um, it's been a really enjoyable half a day for us out on this walk. And um, no, it's not the usual giving up alcohol or giving up cream cakes or um, Giving chocolate. Up chocolate. Yeah, thankfully, thankfully, it isn't about giving up those things. Is it really? <laughs> um, but it's about um, it's about inviting Christ to work, walk that journey with us. Now, obviously, the Lenten, Lenten journey is not entirely straightforward, um, bearing in mind where it ends up. Yeah, um, we don't want to walk all of it. No, we probably never do, really. No. Um, but knowing that he's with us, then maybe uh, we can see where it takes us this year. Okay. Okay. Yeah.